So let's go ahead and uh, talk about this newspaper right here and drink some coffee. It's Sunday night and uh, I hope you're having a good end to your weekend. So uh, this is how I like to end my weekend. I like to look at something and think about it, share it with you. So what we have here is a, uh, this is obviously a reprint, but it's a 1933 paper. It's the Chicago Herald and Examiner from Wednesday, December 6th, 1933. And the headline says, Prohibition Era Ended, Loop Crowds Hail Repeal. So, I'm sure you know, but Prohibition was a very unpopular constitutional amendment. And it was the Volstead Act of 1919, which banned the sale, the production, and uh, transportation of alcoholic beverages. And this was one of the most unpopular pieces of legislation that ever occurred in the United States. Another thing that was going on in 1933 I mean, this was a very busy year, was number one, Franklin Roosevelt was elected president. Number two, Adolf Hitler was made chancellor of Germany. And the Great Depression was at its peak. So, as you can see right here, there's NRA, we do our part. That's not the National Rifle Association. That's part of the alphabet soup of the Great Depression. Uh, today, prohibition is dead. Bootleg crime, much alive. A riot in California, bison's in Japan. So, um, they're one of their main reasons prohibition was ended was because of the incredibly uh, sharp rise in crime due to... Uh, speakeasies and bootlegging and this this piece of this piece of legislation pretty much created the uh, mafia and after prohibition ended the mafia had so much money that they were able to purchase other lines of business like casinos and stuff it it was a big colossal failure so let's look at some other headlines here U.S. studies favoritism in home loans. Complaints accuse lawyers of exorbitant fees. Action of applications is snow. Order extradition of Tuhi gang for factor trial here. Minnesota officials grant Horner requests here and expected to bring fight. So uh, a, an outlaw gang was being extradited. Down here, there is the biggest selection of cars. Look for the used car you want in Chicago's biggest automobile marketplace, then you'll be sure of getting the best available value. Um, here's race results. Al Smith stays dry at dawn of repeal. Mussolini grants Farley audience. National City Bank for U.S. Money Policy. Utah records final vault. U.S. Proclamation follows. That's about the prohibition repeal. U.S. Russia's new liquor control system. Cold was fixed. 20 million gallons in Canada ready for entry. So Canada was ready to go ahead and start supplying. They had been doing that all through Prohibition anyway. <laughs> President signs death warrant of Prohibition. President Roosevelt, who was called a wet. There were two political parties at this time. Right now we have liberals and conservatives. Back then, the most important thing were wets and dries because Prohibition was such a divisive topic. Groups of girls line up at hotel bars, diners jovial, no boisterousness, wild driving band. So they're trying to say, okay, we're repealing prohibition, but everyone settle down. Don't act a fool. So, ABC Christmas gift selections. And uh, it's December 6th, so we're already talking Christmas. And it's funny that on the second page of this paper, We've got classified ads, but we can just look at the different things, antiques, jewelry, aquarium, automobiles, 
band instruments, beauty, beer steins, be lots of beer stuff because, you know, prohibitions and stamps and coins. People collected stamps and coins even then. Candy, Christmas candy. Like how many ads are for candy? Lots of candy. Diamonds, diamonds, dogs, dolls. You know, people are thinking dolls and dresses because Christmas is coming up. An Encyclopedia Britannica set, which was like the internet back then. Um, hats, glasses, fountain pens. A classified ad for a fountain pen is kind of funny. This is before you could go buy a pack of 20 Bic pens. Ford cars. More jewelry, life insurance, lingerie. Lampshades, linens, loans, mattresses, radios, more cars. So you got this classified ads here. Brown learns what this thing called second roaming is all about. Find Chicago can take it. Sitting is a law demands. Round by round accounts show city slow starter gains and stretch closes with low speed left. Spreading the repeal spirit. It's like a Christmas present to America. Parrish gives up in New York on death charge. Greece to request Insul's departure before New Year. Trial of five in Scottsboro case delayed. Okay, this is close to home here. The Scottsboro case was, um, it occurred in, in uh, northern Alabama and uh, two white girls were on a train and the train, they were illegally riding along with a uh, large group of African-American boys. And these were all kids, by the way. And uh, the train was stopped by the railroad bulls, and the girls claimed that they were raped, although there was no evidence found that the African-American boys raped them, and it turned into a huge sensational trial. So here's um, a story about it. Postponement made pending appeal from Haywood conviction. Norris jury out, so it already was in the conviction stage. Retrial five color colored men in the Scottsboro attack case was postponed today pending Supreme Court decisions in Haywood Patterson's conviction as a Morgan County jury continued deliberations on conviction or acquittal for Clarence Norris, second of the seven defendants to be tried. Patterson was convicted last week for his part in an attack on Miss Victoria Price and Ruby Bates, Huntsville mill workers on a freight train in northern Alabama. He was sentenced to death for the third time. Samuel Leibowitz, who was a very famous uh, attorney, chief of defense counsel supplied by the International Labor Defense, which was a communist organization, today suggested postponement of the other trials after saying he would appeal to the Alabama Supreme Court and later to the United States Supreme Court if the state body upheld the lower court. Leibowitz indicated the appeals would be taken on constitutional grounds, continued the defense would again charge colored persons were excluded from juries in Alabama solely because of race and color. Motions to quash the indictment and the venue on those grounds were overruled. Meanwhile, no word had come from the Norris jury except once during the morning when it was asked for exhibits and documentary evidence for study. So, um, if you read about this case, you'll find out that there was a very heroic judge in the end who was really instrumental in helping these boys div uh, avoid the death penalty. There's also a movie about it. Um, I think it's called Heaven's Fall. Okay, Global plans world flight in five days. Uh, KYW first to send out repeal flash. So that's the first Rito station to talk about the repeal prohibition. Um, tavern stay despite and you. Um, widow jailed for revenge slain. Hmm. Old crime case. The Finchley hat, a new felt hat recommended for its distinctive style. It looks kind of like a fedora. Monogrammed white shirts by Maurice Rothschild. Inquiry shows odds between Chase Binkers. Fear rules Europe. War only months off, says Hillman. Huh? They were right about that. First. Charge of first Rita autopsy was bungled. Coroner's aides leave Indianapolis after exhumation. Dr. Weinkoop is improved. See, and here's another like true crime case that you can just sort of find and rediscover when you read these old papers. National City Bank accepts U.S. offer to buy 50 million in stock. Sally Rand patches her rift with studio. Fifi Dorsey to marry today.
A bottle of Bond whiskey is already an ad for whiskey. Ask for this, the fallen rare old straight bottle of Bond whiskeys. Kentucky Colonel Kingly certified old relic old Taylor. An announcement of unusual importance. For the first time in history, a pure distilled gin bearing the famous name. Okay, let's take a step back. The, this is the day that prohibitions were peeled and years already quarter page ads. Uh, they they obviously had some advance notice of this and they were ready to start pushing out the London dry gin. They were getting people excited. Look at this picture, people drinking. 4-H club winners. So close was the health contest that two girls were declared tied and all three winners ranked a double A plus. The milk drinking. Okay, they're drinking milk. But it sure looks like they're drinking alcohol. Grand Award of Steers goes to NY Breeder. Okay, so maybe they were trying to counter a little bit of the alcohol craze. The Polish hero hauler arrives in New York. Um, Farty new acting in the crime of chief. What a name. Uh, open store in Rush Blow Kills Child. Oh my. We demand U.S. inspected meats, Thompson's restaurants. Attention dealers, we can make immediate deliveries of champagnes, wines, and liquors. Yep, we're ready to sell. I mean, because they couldn't have just made all this booze overnight. They had to have known that this was coming. Mother finds dancer hurt. Pet cat is cause of owner's death. Bows and arrows used against coyotes. Settle gives rotary stratosphere flag. Long winds and righteous vote. City requests you ambiguous loon. Canada is sending yule trees by the carload. Jealous mate kills wife, mother of five. Papal bull against Luther exhibited. Chicago opens boom and fairs. Here's holiday decorations at Marshall Field and Company. They're just telling you to come over and get the holiday spirit. So what do we have here? Okay, um... Extends tax value cut to old building. Property owners filling the coupon. Cody's ex wife asking Liam's fine bottle for apartment debt. Driving boat picks up coins in the water. Boy wins $100 and wants cowboy suits. Even dead feel depression. Lose graves for rent. Huh. When they mean even dead feel depression, they're talking about the Great Depression. Um, so if. If you, so if a, if a bill isn't paid on a grave, they can evacuate the grave and and rent it out, or that's just kind of ghoulish. Veteran of World and Zulu Wars dies. 200 prisoners, she was taken by burglars. Film writer sent to mental hospital. Um, Berlin exhibit has own printing plant. Auto crash kills. What? Auto crashes kill 1,337 in Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's a lot of deaths from cars in 1933. War is likely, says Litvinov. Yep. LaSalle receiver offers creditors their due in trade. Soviet Latvian, Latvian pact on trade is signed. Bird Polar ship reaches Wellington. Freed by jury, shot to death. Joseph Spinato. Um Tight hat bands are a contributing cause of baldness. Put the sun back in the sky with sal hepatica. Um, um, the mineral salt laxative, an intestinal corrective. Wow. I just love this because it is, it's, you're literally looking at a time capsule. You're looking at people who are famous. You're looking at the the trend, the, what was going on in the times, obviously alcohol was a big deal. Imagine if you quit a really restrictive diet after three or four months and then someone said, okay, go get some cake, you know what I mean? <laughs> Christmas greeting cards. Um, whispered, great complexion secret, knock out that code. I eat what I like and take melons when food disagrees. Citizens' crusade must abolish costly tyranny of useless governments. This must be the editorials. A Chicago Code. 
declaring his policies, national defense, Navy second to none, an adequate, efficient army. I mean, we're already talking about World War II and it's still quite a few years off. A full ratio Navy. Winter complaint. A benefit of prohibition. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people are going to be reading that. Let's look for some ironic. Um, passion preview. Shops allure with accessories for winter ensemble. Um, here's college ads, schools and colleges, to learn how to do radio, which was like learning how to do computers nowadays. I mean, because radio was, this was um, the beginning of the golden age of radio. I would say the golden age of radio was in the 40s. This was late 30s, early 40s. I would say this is the beginning of it. Henry Channing and his English bride, the former Lady Honor Guinness, arrive in New York. This is Henry Channing III. Another Marshall Fields ad. Oh, we're getting into some interesting stuff here. Um, theater and films. This is, uh, and also entertainment. So... Palmer's House Shore Dinner, a dollar fifty. Tonight in the Victorian Room. So wow, if you're in Chicago, get yourself a delicious seafood dinner. Marie Tristan or Lionel Barrymore, Christopher Bean. I've never heard of this movie. The director will accept if terms are met. Paramount drops plans for featuring Lee Tracy and joins with MGM Van. Little Women is true to original structure. I want to remind everybody that this is the, still the pre-code era. This is when, um, before the Hayes administration, the Hayes, um, what do they call it? Uh, if you, you, you watch the end of a movie and it says it's approved by the Motion Picture Association of America, that started in 1934 and it, it would not allow movies to be made unless they met certain standards of ethics and so forth. So... We were still making movies that that were um, had themes that would soon be banned, like defeating law enforcement, uh, adultery, drug use, uh, mild nudity, um, sexual content, certain types of violence. Um, I'll talk all about pre-code in an upcoming video. Here's radio, um, the radio guide, and. Um, I'm gonna see if I recognize any of these shows. Um, Christian Science Programs, Marshall Field Musical Clock, Children's Program, um, Radio Household Institute, U.S. Army Band Concert, German Program, Jack Brooks. I don't rec. So far, Bud Pickard songs, Tom and Don, Happy Days in Dixie, Herbert Foote. A lot of it is just music programs, um, Jack Armstrong, and that, that's Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy, I recognize that one, Casey Jones Aviation, Mal Perkins sketch, but a lot of this stuff is just kind of lost to time, Buck Rogers, of course, Futuristic sketch, I know that one, Lum and Abner, I know that one, S Steamboat Willie, uh, Italian program. There was a lot of big Italian community in Chicago. Lone Ranger, of course. We, we all know that. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, here's uh, movie listings. Uh, at the Oriental Randolph near Street. Man's Castle. Clara Bow and Hoopla, um, Margaret Sullivan, 
Mae West, I'm No Angel, <laughs> with Cary Grant. George Raft, The Bowery. So I, like, I recognize a lot of these movies. Oh, look at all the movies playing, too. I mean, it's kind of Catherine Hepburn, Little Women. I mean, there's a lot of choices for 1933. I mean, there, there is a lot of Bureau of Missing Persons, Turn Back the Clock. All of these are different movies. Lady for a Day. It is kind of interesting and amazing to me that by 1933, there were so many choices to watch the movie. Um, they satisfy. That says it all. Chesterfield. It's big half-page cigarette ad. Showing an army soldier. There's a pack of Chesterfields. Um, uh, obituaries right here. Cards of Fakes. Uh, here's a comic, The Nebs, by So Hess, Chicago's own comic. Dirty and Dust, not German only. Ancient altar stone found by excavators in Padley, England. Slippery baths avoided by birds. School trustees, aloe pamphlets kept from public. The Dark Garden. Uh, I guess that's a drama you could read. Um, finds Dr. Weinkoop's family no more queer than average. Haven't we all acted strangely at times? We are asked in defending Dr. Another believes Rita killed herself. That's another true crime case that uh, would make a good video just to discuss, I think. Gas heat is now on display in 20,328 Chicago land homes. Okay, now here we have the sports section. Chuck Klein's own story of baseball career. Fielding with Slugger's chief worry. Warner protests giving Columbia Rose bid. Plan devalued American turf. Don't expect Notre Dame coaching bids as Kaiser. Zombo pays $590 for $2 at Charlestown. 33 mark. And there's some hockey coverage. Here we have uh, the sports scores page. Wow. And there's some ads for dentists. And you know, as I noticed about this paper, is there's a lot of um, information and not as many ads as other papers I've looked at. Very interesting. Um, believe it or not, Ripley's Believe It or Not. And it says, Stalin, once a theological student, now leader of the USSR, greatest organization of workers in the history of the world, never did a day's manual labor in his life. <laughs> Zadiba, professional lamenter of Bukhara, cried six hours daily for 86 years, but she never shed a tear. The church of Etchmiadzin, Armenia, was built to house this relic, the very spear point that pierced the savior of the cross. I've heard of that. The Spear of Destiny, I believe it's called. The mysterious growing grave in Samarkand. The sarcophagus of St. Damier is constantly growing. It is now 60 feet long. Interesting. English and Grim lead in fielding. Red Sox to get Wahlberg and Grove Report. Um... Here we have the comics. Cuckoos by Ted Coot. That was uh, just little jokes and brain teasers. Is that Carson Pyrie Scott and Company? And here's the comic section. Bringing up Father. Um, Mickey Mouse. Dumb Dora. Tilly the Toiler. Blondie and Dagwood. Barney Google. And Dave's Delicatessen. That's Barney Google. There was a song about him. Barney Google. Google with the Google goo googly eyes. They actually made a song for him. Um, Reform group holds edge and money fight. Crane tire as all marks move upward. Ward nets 4,049,778 for the quarter. This is your stock and business page. A little Christmas ad. 
another alcohol ad. Uh, here's the stock reports. And you can see some companies that still exist, like DuPont. Um, let's see. Um, Armour, the potted meat. Skelly oil, I believe it still exists. Marshall Fields, uh, Lowell's, Kroger, Kroger, the grocery store. General Motors. Wow. Of course, this was the Great Depression, so. I think that was about as popular as Prohibition. Crossword Puzzle. The Dark Garden. A uh, soap opera, cereal, whatever you want to call it. I ride the cars all day. Herald and Examiner want ads. U.S. crude oil output drop. What ad index? There's Lost and Found. Someone lost their car. Okay, three Plymouths are lost. I don't know what was going on there. Cars to be stolen, I guess. Plymouths were hot cars to steal, I guess. Dancing schools, auto painting, medals. Housekeeping rooms. This is ads for maids and nannies. And Strong beer sped to loop. Loop center of festivities. Crowds rush. Here's Philip Utah Capital Final Liquors Will Revive Dining as Fine Art. <laughs> uh, temperance Repeal. Look at the very telling political cartoon right there. And we make it to the last page. The news and pictures. Let's go through these real quick. Of course, that's President Roosevelt. Secretary of Commerce Daniel Roper greeting President Roosevelt on the latter's return to Washington, D.C., from Warm Springs, Georgia, just before they had their talk with Senator Duncan U. Fletcher of Florida on control of stock exchange speculation. Ready for the bell. John T. Weisbach, director of Prima Brewery, waiting, watch in hand yesterday for official confirmation of repeal and release of some of the barrels of 6% beer seen behind him. They could hardly wait. Hattie left and Blanche Jaros could hardly wait to pull the cork from the bottle which bartender George Lokomer of the Brevard Hotel's crystal bar held out so invitingly yesterday while waiting for the official news of repeal. Liquor Control Board. The President's Liquor Control Board holds its first meeting at the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, D.C., pending completion of its office. Winners. Four of the victors in the 4-H Club Championships. I think we saw the milk drinking thing earlier. Crowned Miss Cole Glad, Opera Star. Crowning King Genius 5 Gated Stallion Champion at the International Livestock Show yesterday. Perfect Canner, Miss Alina Shoup of Ramona, Oklahoma, who yesterday won the canning championship at the International Livestock Show, shown with some of her products. Eight friends, Florence Feinberg, Peggy O'Neill, and Helen Taylor Walgreen Company employees who were in charge of arrangements for the dance held last night at Congress Hotel. Getting ready for the repeal of Prohibition. Here's uh, another like comic cereal. Um, here's a sheep. Thomas never missed an international livestock show. And that's it. We just read the paper. We just read Wednesday, December 6, 1933, Chicago Herald and Examiner. And we got the news. We got up to date on what was going on that day. And it was an important day. And um, I sure hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you like videos where we just sit down and read the newspaper together, let me know, and I'll keep doing them. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow night.